Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. It's international break and it's also time for us to go through the first nine games of the season so far to take some conclusions and we can do it and I want to do it with a top and flop. What do we know so far? Because we saw positive things, we saw negative things, and I wanted to do it with a personal tops and flops, beginning with the flops. Why? Because I want to end with a positive note. Always ending positively, that's what we are for. We are supporters and we have to think positively. But we saw also flops, and that's why I wanted to do a three flops, three tops. Not a ranking, so it's not from the worst to the best. It's just three things that came in my mind that were not good at the moment and treating that we did actually really good we start with the first flop unfortunately there are two players that are at the moment flopping it's Dybala and Bernardeschi Dybala played 306 minutes so far so six appearances that's actually 3.4 games in total if he would have played the 90 minutes we know that it's not the case so six games three in Serie A three in Champions League where he was able to score one goal 1.5 actually because one time he scored and then it was an auto goal so it was not allowed to Dybala but whatever unfortunately Dybala at the moment is not performing we know that he has some problems problems physically to come back at his level but also mentally with all the questions around Dybala contract extension yes or no what is his position in that Juventus that new Juventus of Pirlo this is at the moment a flop we have also Bernardeschi that plays also him six games so far 114 minutes so that's a bit more than a full game for him disaster disaster Bernardeschi uh, every time he was entering in the game he did something wrong unfortunately it was not his moment but Bernardeschi played with the national team he was able to score so hopefully we can see him back a bit better a bit with a bit more confidence for the new season so far then the second flop I wanted to speak about is the points because after six games in um, no sorry after seven games in Serie A so far we did three wins and four draws three wins one is also the one uh, that actually we won without playing versus Napoli we have 13 points in Serie A while last year we were able to have 19 points with six victories so 18 points plus a draw it was 19 without losses so we see that there's a big gap of six points less than last year when we started the season with a new coach with Sarri and this is actually problematic six points difference is already a lot after seven games and the last one is the injuries. Injuries of Ramsey, injuries of Chiellini. We know that so far Chiellini is already at his second injury of the season. He missed already five games. He will probably miss a bit more because uh, the last news are saying that Chiellini will probably be out for one month. Then Ramsey. Ramsey already missed a lot of games as well. And the problem with uh, Ramsey is that it's not new to injuries. Same as Chiellini actually. The big problem here is that Chiellini and Ramsey are two really important assets for the team of Pirlo because uh, Chiellini is the leader of the defense if he's not there it's a problem and Ramsey is actually the link between the midfield uh, and the attack between the strikers and Pirlo really believed in him he was uh, starting him he actually started quite great but we can't trust Ramsey we can't trust Ramsey in his physical condition you build the game around him and then he's missing that's a problem so those three points are for me the flops and then we go immediately to the tops to the good things that we saw the first one is three players i wanted to put into the picture it's danilo quadrado and morata i want to start with morata the big surprise of the season so far because he played for us eight times so eight appearances with six goals two in Serie A four in Champions League and two assists with 
a numerous a lot of goals that were even offside so he could have been uh, more he could have have more goals it's already really great he surprised us not only about the score the goals that he scored but how he's playing and fighting and the big smile on his face so that was for Morata and then probably an even better and bigger surprise at Morata is the return of Danilo Danilo that didn't play really well uh, last year a lot of people were actually saying that Danilo uh, was a big big flop at Juve because we sold him for Cancelo or we bought him in exchange with a flop uh, swap with Cancelo so people were not really happy but this season what a Danilo great player he played on the right he played on the left he played in a three man's defense where he has to go to the right and then going back to the center same when he's playing to the left he played nine full games so the player with the most appearances and also the most minutes played because he played from the start from the game until the end every single time six times in Serie A three times in Champions League at the moment zero red cards zero yellow cards so no never he was being uh, booked at the moment he did I believe one assist an important one uh, for Ronaldo when he scored the 2-2 versus Roma and the, he made zero errors that led to a goal from the opponent so amazing start of the season so far with Danilo he's really happy he spoke about it we can be only happy to see Danilo performing that well and then the third one is Cuadrado with also nine appearances he started eight times three assists so far great for Cuadrado that actually when you see the heat map of Cuadrado he's playing all the right wing doing incredible performances one time he missed completely the game it was versus Roma when he played vers uh, on the left side but when he's playing uh, on the right he's doing incredible performances so those three players for me are absolutely a top a second top is the ranking because despite the points that we know less uh, than last year where we had six points more the ranking is not a disaster because we only have four points less than Milan who is first there are a lot of team uh, there we know it we are fifth at the moment with four points uh, missing from the leader with 31 games to play it's okay it's okay it's not a big deal it's not a drama and in uh, Champions League we are second with six points if we have no drama no disaster we should go through the group and that's the most important thing and then the last top I wanted to speak it's the players that are following the vision and the strategy and the tactics of Pirlo that's a really important one because last year it was not always the case with Sarri now we really see players that are uh, praising Pirlo uh, Cristiano Ronaldo said it and he said guys let us work and believe in the work we are doing Danilo spoke really well about Pirlo McKenny all the players are really happy to be trained by Pirlo by the charisma presence and the ideas and vision of Pirlo and this is beautiful to see because when you have a compact group players that believe in their training uh, trainer and their coach we can only be positive how long will it take until we see the best uh, Juve of Pirlo we don't know the positive thing is that Alexandro and De Ligt will be back after the international break for um, I believe that De Ligt will also start because Bonucci and Chiellini are injured it's time for the Ligt so we only see positive things towards uh, the rest of the year until the end of December because we know that we have seven games that are a bit easier in the calendar with Atalanta that can be the big big game this is it for me guys let me know let me know if you agree with my flops and with my tops with my three flops three tops let me know what you uh, think was the, actually the best so far this season or the worst this season please no critics no stars with Dybala Ronaldo blah 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 this is not the case I want to see about Juve what you think was the best and the worst thank you as always Forza Juve after you subscribed and you put a like on the video ciao